what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel we're going to have a little look at the new heroes that have come into the game will Terra, and hazia is the epics let's have a little look first at will um i haven't really like okay i have looked at this guy but i'm telling you his skills are extensive okay so bear with me bear with me um he looks great i, I like the design on him the art is very good on him but his skills get very, very long, okay? He's a defense damage hero, which, you know, we, we don't really rate these a lot in the game at the moment. They're, they're a bit lackluster. Uh, deals 330% defense damage to a single enemy. 40% chance to reduce their attack, which is nice. Um, he grants himself one layer of softness. Now, these are for his skill switch, okay? He consumes these later on in, when he's dealing more damage. Uh, cut a support removes one layer of buff at random from an enemy target and deals 240% defense damage to the target with a 40% chance to inflict resistance buff on them for one turn after he grabs himself a layer of cut when I mean, the resistance buff is nice uh, the chance is good but the damage isn't huge one layer of buff removal at random is um not a lot not a lot it doesn't prioritize any buffs but you know it could be helpful it could be helpful as uh, active skill turnaround Increases self-defense by 60% for two turns. After it deals two stages of 140% defense damage to a single enemy. And grabs stuff a layer of rage. Um, again, his basics... Uh, when he hasn't gotten a skill switch, he's not going to be dealing much damage. But now you can see we're going to get into the long stuff. His passive. He's immune to silence, horrify, and provoke. And all self-skills cooldowns cannot be increased. Grant self a shield by 10% of self max health for one turn at the beginning of each wave or at the end of each turn. Grant self two layers of softness, cut and rage at the beginning of each wave. Meanwhile, attack clear, cut of support and turnaround will be enhanced when self has two layers of softness, cut and rage. Correspondingly, softness is granted when self releases counter attacks and pursue and attacks. He's got a lot going on. Uh, his shield does increase. Exclusive one, he cannot take crits and he's immune to damage over time when he has a shield. That's very nice, similar to Agatha's mechanic. Exclusive level two, when attack, clear, cut of support and turn around, deal damage to in any enemies. There is 80% chance to inflict provoke on them for one turn. So he's dealing some damage and he's also causing provoke on him, uh, on himself. Now, will this work? This will work with a uh, counter attack as well. So he could be very good in that sense. You know, he could be a very good support, pulling in provoke from from enemies. Exclusive level 3, attack clear, cut of support and turnaround can be enhanced when self has one layer of softness, cut and rage correspondingly with a 30% chance not to consume any layer of softness, cut and rage. So we're going to have a little look at what this means now going into the skill switch. Uh, his first basic enhanced attack clear consumes all layers of softness and deals 660% defense damage to a single enemy, which this has gone up quite a bit. It has gone up quite a bit and reducing that attack down too is nice. Consumes all layers of cut, removes all buffs from an enemy target, and deals 480% defense damage to a target. 40% chance to inflict resistance buff. You know, we're removing all buffs now. And we're dealing a, a pretty, you know, it's a good amount of damage, 480%. But the way defense works in this is... Defense damage isn't massive. Uh, enhanced turnaround consumes all layers of rage and increases all allies defense by 60% for two turns. Afterwards, he deals three stages of 140% defense damage each to a single enemy. Uh, his passive doesn't change, that stays the same. But what do I think of Will? I mean, I don't really know. He's a force mark hero. Do we really need another buff remover in force mark? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He, you know, he looks great, and he, he's got some cool, like, attack down two, resistance buff, buff removal, and defense up two. I, I just don't really know where he fits. I don't really know where he fits in our teams. That's the thing. Like, he's got a cool set, but where would we use Will? He is Foresters. Maybe he'll be good for Faction Abyss, but, you know, we're pushing it, we're plucking his straws here. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about Will. I'm not sure how I feel about He's a defense damage hero, and we know that defense damage isn't amazing. It isn't amazing, so... Okay, where's Terra? Where's Terra? He's here. He's in Nameless Brotherhood. Okay, and Terra is like his twin brother, right? Or his twin... Twin cub. Uh, he's a tiger. Uh, it looks cool. I, I, I like the look of 
Terra more than I do Will. He is a little bit terrifying, I guess. Um, a nice design, nice design. Okay, let's have a little look. He he only has one set of skills. His basic is deals 220% attack damage to a single enemy. If the target has a shield, he deals 30% more damage. If not, there's a 60% chance to reduce their shield effect by 40%. Now, this is a new mechanic. This is a new one, weakness. And I do like the sound of this, but again, he's Force Mark Hero. Nameless Brotherhood, and like, reducing the shielded effect. How huge is this going to be? I'm not sure on that. I mean, it means that we probably wouldn't need a debuffer in Force Mark. But again, Force Mark, we have so many heroes to use that are great. Great already for Force Mark. So that really, I mean, if you're a new player coming in, it could be useful, yeah. Uh, Blood Craving deals two stages of 260% attack damage each to a single enemy. Absorbs 8% of a target's max health. Caps at 16% of self max from the target before each stage deals damage. When absorbing from bosses, the absorption amount is tripled. That's kind of nice, that it's tripled on bosses. I like the sound of that, actually. Um, his attack damage does increase. And exclusive one increases the absorption amount of blood craving to 15% of the target's max health, and the absorption cap to 30%. Okay, this is a little bit better. If a target has a shield before blood craving is cast, increases the absorption amount to 20%, of the target's max health and the absorption cap is 40% of self max. That's actually a nice one. I like this skill. His passive skill, full attack. Terra deals extra 40% crit damage. And when he when he deals damage to targets with a shield. Okay, so 40% more crit damage with a shield. Terra refreshes the cooldown of blood craving when he breaks any target's shield. That's nice. I like that. Uh, Terra and his ally will restore their health by 10% of max health when this ally breaks any target's shield. That's also nice. So he's also here. Okay. Okay, Terra, you sound... Okay. Exclusive 2. Terra gains 40% turn meter for every shield he breaks against enemies. The ally and Terra gains 20% turn meter respectively for every shield the ally breaks against... Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, this is cool. I like this exclusive level 2. So any, any attack that our allies break his shield... Um, you know, they're gaining a 20% turn meter. Ineffective defense. Uh, increases self crit damage by 60% for two turns. Asswood deals 300% attack damage to all enemies, ignoring shield. Then deals 150% attack damage to targets with a shield after dealing damage. Interesting. Exclusive level 3, when ineffective defense kills an enemy, refreshes its cooldown immediately, <laughs> wow, and increases self turn meter by 60%. This effect can only be triggered once each time this skill is cast. Okay, Terra is a better option than Will, in my opinion. If you are pulling for the miracles, and you know, he does look great. Um, where will he be used though? You know, he's full smart. He's going to be very good for faction abyss. It's going to be very good for faction of this, even though the enemies don't have shields. Um, you could definitely use them in Force Mark Tower as well, especially if you're a new player coming into the game. PvP? I'd sooner strip the shield buffs off of them. Maybe it's going to be a different kind of angle to approach it. I don't know. I do like how he boosts turn meter and stuff. I mean, where would I put Terra? It's tricky to rate these. They're, they're both interesting heroes. They're both interesting heroes. I'm just trying to think of places I would use them. That's the thing. Let's have a look at um, Hazier. And he looks he looks really cool. I love the art design on this guy. Like jagged teeth and you know, he just looks he just looks really cool. His weapons look good. Um, his basic is 80% attack damage to a single enemy, two stages, so it's 160, so 240%. Um, active skill, eye for an eye, grant self counter attack for three turns, and damage immunity for two turns, and acts one extra turn, that's nice. Uh, cooldown to four. Additionally, grant self control immunity for two, that's nice as well. His passive skill, this attack has an additional 16% leech when Hazier lands a crit. Okay, so he's got leech as well. Exclusive level 2, it reduces all the damage he takes if he has a buff by 18%, and reduces all the damage he takes by 25% if he has no buffs. That's decent. 
um, increases self crit rate by 25%, crit damage by 30% for two turns, and then deals 500% attack damage to an enemy, which goes up to 620%. It's just level 3, Dark Knight Arbitrament, copy all the buffs on the enemy before dealing damage. It's an interesting mechanic. But his damage is quite low, in my opinion. I feel like his damage is low, but he's going to be counter-attacking. He could do a lot on his own, maybe. I mean, he could probably... He could probably push a little bit. He's Doom Legion, for goodness. We have Lucifer and stuff. Uh, I, I'm not mad on this guy. I don't feel like he's going to do a lot for your team. I, I like, you know, he's got some pretty cool skills. But again, he's not doing enough damage. Doing enough damage for me. Let me know what you guys think. Where do you rate Will, Tara, and Hazia? I mean, I, I'm i not going to put them way up high in, in the save a tier list. Um, my favourite is definitely Terra. And I mean, he could possibly be like an S tier kind of hero. Um, exclusive 3 is interesting. The boost, see, it's tricky because the boost in the turn meter and stuff like that is huge. Is huge. Um... You know, that's that's huge. So we'll see. We'll see about Terra. I can't really comment on him because I and I'm not gonna use him in Hero Trial because I don't I don't agree with the Hero Trial. I don't think it's accurate. It's not accurate. Um Definitely interesting heroes. It's nice to see him coming into the game and they've got a cool design. But are they gonna push and help us? You know, are we gonna summon for them? I would definitely go for Terra over Will. I know that much for sure. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm just not sold on these new heroes. I'm just not sold on these new heroes myself. So let me know what you think. Make sure you click like, subscribe and comment below to help this channel grow. Take care guys.